so this forms a sequence which obeys the rule called a is equal to n into n plus 2. Every time for n you add 2, you'll get the next term starting from n is equal to 1. So like that we have different cases. Means whenever the sequence is like this, you can also generate a formula. In the place of n if you put 1, you'll get first term. In the place of n if you put 2, you'll get second term. Like that it goes on. And the other way is what? When you have a sequence, you should also think about a formula like this. So just if you want first 5 terms, you need to substitute n place. Welcome to the session, dear students. In today's class, I'll be discussing very important chapter that is sequence and series. So now, sequence or series, when we talk about the numbers arranged according to some rule. For example, so 1, 4, 9, 16, so on. When you take these numbers, they are in the form n square. They are in the form n square. I can write general formula for this. A n is equal to n square. Now, in the place of n, if I put 1, what is 1 square? 1. In the place of n, if you put 2, you will get a2. a2 is what? Second term. A n is nth term. A. So, for every term, we have a rule. This is 1 square, this is 2 square, this is 3 square, this is 4 square. So, in the place of n, if you put 3, a2 is 2 square, a3 is 3 square, so 4, 9, like that. So, you can see they are following some rules. So, numbers, when they follow some formula or rule, we say they are in sequence. And for example, we may have 2, 5, We may have numbers of the form 2, 5, 8, 11. Here you can see for every number it gets added with, it gets added with 3. So I can say a is equal to, a n is, the first number starts with 2. So a n starts with 2, 2, 5 like that. So we say general term a plus n minus 1 into the difference. Difference is what? 3. If you do, you will get all the terms. So whenever the elements are arranged according to some rule, we call them as they are in sequence. Or sometimes 3, 6, 12, 24. Now all these things, they are following a rule called the multiple of 2. So 3, 3, 2 is a 6, 6, 2 is a 12, 12, 2 is a. So every number gets multiplied with what? 2. So this is 2n. You multiply 2n, 2, you multiply 2 to each term. So we say a r power n minus 1, where r is common ratio. So here different numbers I wrote. So whenever the sequence is in the form of a formula or rule, we say they are in sequence. So they should obey some rule. I told 1. 4, 9, 16, they obey a rule called n square. And starting from 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, they obey a rule called n plus 2. So every time for n you add 2, you'll get the next term starting from n is equal to 1. So like that we have different cases. So this we say sequence. So in the first exercise, they will give formula. They will give a formula. So, a n is equal to say n plus 1 by 5. Then generate, generate 5 terms. First 5 terms. Means what in the place of n, a, if you put 1, you will get first term. 1 plus 2 by 5. Sorry, 1 plus 1 by 5. That is 2 by 5. 1 plus 1 by 5. That is 2 by 5. And in the place of n, if you put 2, 2 plus 1 by 5, that is 3 by 5. In the place of n, if you put 3 in the formula, they will give formula 3 plus 1 by 5, that is 4 by 5. And then a4, 4 plus 1 by 5, 5 by 5, 5 by 5 is what? 1. 
a5 fifth term is 5 plus 1 by 5 6 by 5 so we can generate all the same they want first five terms what are the first five terms 2 by 5 3 by 5 4 by 5 5 by 5 is 1 and next we have 6 by 5 these are the terms so they gave nth term in the place of n if you put 1 you will get first term in the place of n if you put 2 you will get second term like that it goes on now we will go to the exercise of sequence and series that is chapter 9 first exercise write the first five terms of each of the sequence so they gave sequence they gave a rule and you need to find what is called as first five terms from problem 1 to problem 6 we need to do this they gave a n what is a n given a n is equal to n into n plus 2 they want first five terms a1 n is equal to 1 if i put a1 a1 is what 1 into 1 plus 2 1 into 1 plus 2 is 3 1 into 3 what is 1 into 3 3 a2 in the place of n put 2 2 into 2 plus 2 you know 2 plus 2 is 4 4 2 is a 8 a3 in the place of n put 3 3 into 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 is 5 5 3 is a 15 then a4 that is 4 into 4 plus 2 4 plus 2 is 6 6 4 is a 24 a5 5 into 5 plus 2 5 plus 2 is 7 7 5 is a 35 so therefore first five terms means what a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 so they are the first term is what 3 then 8 then 15 then 24 then 35 so this forms a sequence which obeys the rule called a is equal to n into n plus 2 a is equal to what n into n plus 2 so a 3 8 15 24 35 similarly we have a second question a n is equal to n by n plus 1 so a 1 is what what is a 1 1 by 1 plus 1 that is 1 by 2 a 2 1 by in the place of n put 2 2 plus sorry 2 by 2 plus 1 2 by 3 a 3 3 by 3 plus 1 3 by 4 a 4 4 by 4 plus 1 4 by 5 and a 5 obviously it will be 5 by 6 5 by 5 plus 1 so the 5 terms are what a 1 a 2 a 3 a 4 a 5 see here they gave n for a n formula what is the formula given in the problem a n is n by n plus 1 in the place of n if you put 1 you will get first term in the place of n if you put 2 you will get second term so likewise we got all the terms so a 1 is 1 by 2 2 by 3 3 by 4 4 by 5 and 5 by 6 dear students it is simple denominator is one more than numerator 1 by 2 2 by 3 3 by 4 4 by 5 6 5 by 6 means whenever the sequence is like this you can also generate a formula reverse that is we say aptitude observing the sequence generating the formula here formula is given just we are plugging in the value this is easier the second technique is what they will give sequence or if you have any sequence you can think about how to generate a formula a n is 2 power n a n is 2 power n so 2 power n a 1 means what 2 power 1 that is 2 what is a 2 2 power 2 2 square what is 2 square 4 then a 3 what is a 3 2 power 3 2 power 3 is what 8 a 4 what is a 4 2 power 4 that is 16 so now you have and they want 5 terms a 5 is what 2 power 5 what is 2 power 5 2 2 is a 4 2 is a 8 2 is a 16 2 is a 32 so therefore we need 5 terms a 1 a 2 a 3 a 4 a 5 are what 2 we got the values 4 8 16 32 these are the 5 terms then we have a n they gave 2n minus 3 divided by 6. A1 in the place of n put 1. So 2 into 1 minus 3 by 6. 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3 is minus 1 by 6. A2 2 into 2 minus 3 by 6. 2 to the 4. 4 minus 3 is 1 by 6. 
then a3 2 into 3 minus 3 by 6. So there is a 6, 6 minus 3 is 3, 3 by 6. 3 by 6 is what? 1 by 2. And a4 2 into 4 minus 3 by 6. 2 4 is 8, 8 minus 3, 5 by 6. Then we have a5 2 into 5 minus 3 by 6. 5 2s are 10, 10 minus 3 is 7 by 6. So now the terms are what? a1, a2, a3, a4, a5. So what is a1 we have? a1 we have minus 1 by 6, then we have 1 by 6, then we have 1 by 2 by 6, 3 by 6 that is same as 1 by 2, then 5 by 6, then 7 by 6. These are the values. So denominator everything is fixed, but only whenever we get 3 by 6 it, when it is divisible. So remaining all other terms will have 6 in denominator. Numerator 2n minus 3. How far of you understood this? See, so dear students, in sequence, they will give the formula and you have to generate the sequence. And the other way is what? When you have a sequence, you should also think about a formula like this. Next. Very interesting. A n is minus 1 power n minus 1 into 5 power n plus 1. Now, I will choose n is equal to 1. So that you will get a1. What is a1? Minus 1 power 1 minus 1. 5 power 1 plus 1. Minus 1 power 0 into 5 square. All of you know anything power 0 is 1. Minus 1 power 0 is also 1. Into 5 square is 25. So 25. So you got a1. What is a1? a1 is exactly 25. Now go to a2. What is a2? Minus 1 power 2 minus 1. 5 power 2 plus 1, minus 1 power 1, 5 cube, minus 1 power 1 is minus 1, 5 cube is 5, 5 is a 25, 5 is a 125, so minus 125. Now you go for a3, what is a3? Minus 1 power n minus 1, 3 minus 1, 5 power 3 plus 1. Minus 1 square, 5 power 4. Minus 1 square becomes plus 1, 5 power 4. 5 is 25, 25 is 625. 625 and it will be plus 1. 1 into so 625. A3. Now we go to A4. Go to A4. Minus 1 power n minus 1. So 4 minus 1, 5 power 4 plus 1. So minus 1 cube, 5 power 5. So, n plus 1, so 4 plus 1, 5 power 5. So, 625, 5 is a 25, 25, 25, 625 into 5. So, 5, 5 is a 25, 2, 5, 2 is a 10 plus 2, 12, 5, 6 is a 30 plus 1, 31. So, it becomes 3, 1, 2, 5. Minus power odd number becomes minus. A5, what is A5? A5 is minus 1 power 5 minus 1, 5 power 5 plus 1. Minus 1 power 4. 5 power 6. 5 power 6 is what? 300 and see this is 5 power 5. 3, 1, 2, 5 into 5. 5, 5 is a 25, 2. 5, 2 is a 10 plus 2, 12. 5, 1 is a 5 plus 1, 6. 5, 3 is a 15. So, 1, 5, 6, 2, 5. Minus power even number becomes plus 1 into 1 into anything is same. 1, 5, 6, 2, 5. A5. Now, alternate terms will have negative. So, now we need A1 to A5. A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. They want you to find the first five terms of the sequence using the formula. We substitute the values and we got A1 is 25, then minus 1, 25, 25, minus 1, 25. Then we have A3, 6, 25, positive. Then we have after 625, we have minus 3125. Then we have positive 15625. Now, all of you understood this. See here, sequence means what? Arrangement of element according to a formula or arrangement of the elements according to some rule. Rule is also called as formula. Here, in the problem 5, this is the rule. So, just if you want first 5 terms, you need to substitute n place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You will get 5 terms. So now we will go to the next problem. Sixth one. 
an is n into n square plus 5 by 1. an, they gave n into n square plus 5 by 4. a1 is what? 1 into 1 square plus 5 by 4. 1 into 1 square is 1, 6 by 4. You know, this is divisible. 2, 3 is 2, 2 is So, it will become 1 into 3 by 2 is 3 by 2. a2, 2 into 2 square plus 5 by 4. All of you know, 2 into 2 square is 4, 4 plus 5, 9, 9 by 4. 2 1s are 2 2s are it will become 9 by 2. Then a3, a3 is 3 into 3 square plus 5 by 4. So, 3 square is 9, 9 plus 5, 9 plus 5 gives you 14, 14 by 4. So, 3 into 14 by 4. So, it is divisible 2 2s are 2, 7s are further 7 3s are 21, 21 by 2. You got a3. Now, go to a4. A4 is 4 into 4 square plus 5 by 4. You know, 4 square is what? 16. 16 plus 5 by 4. That is 4 into 16 plus 5 is 21 by 4. 4, 4 cancels. It is 21. Then we have A5. A5 is what? 5 into 5 square plus 5 by 4. You know, 5 square is 25, 25 plus 5, 30 by 4. So, 15 is a 2 is a. So, 15 into 5, 75 by 2. So, now we need to write the first 5 terms. What are the first 5 terms? A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5 are the first 5 terms. What is A1? 3 by 2. Then we have... 9 by 2, 3 by 2, 9 by 2, then we have 21 by 2, then we have a4, 21, then we have 75 by 2. Check. So, in the place of n, if you put 1, 1 plus 5, 6, 6 by 4, 6 by 4 is 2, 3 is a 2, 2 is a, so 3 by 2. N is equal to 2, if you put 2 square is 4, 4 plus is, uh, 4 plus 5, 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 by 4 into 2, 9 by 2. 3, if you put 3 square is 9, 9 plus 5 is 14, 14 by 4. So, 2 7s are 2 2s, uh, so 21 by 2. Then 4, if you put 4 into 4 square plus 5 by 4, 16 plus 5, 21 by 4. 5, 5 square plus 5 by 4, 25, 30 by 4. So, simplify, you will get the required value. So now I taught you what is a sequence and I also taught you how to write first five terms in the sequence. In order to write the first five terms in the sequence, choose n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and substitute in the formula given. And the other method is what? What is meant by sequence? Arrangement of element according to some formula or rule. Similarly, whenever the sequence is given, you should also be able to identify the formula or the rule which they obey. So, later we can generate what is called as arithmetic progression, geometric progression, harmonic progression like that we will continue. So, but now to solve the exercise 9.1, we have done 5 problems wherein we plugged in the values of n and we got the first 5 terms. And similarly, we have different approaches of these problems and we will see what sort of questions we will have in my next session. I will continue in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.